if you're really sensitive about how other feels and you feel just the way they are feeling, you might be an emotional sponge. One of the signs of being an emotional sponge is lacking good boundaries. So when you don't have any boundaries between how you feel and how the other person feels, you take so much responsibility for others' life, for others' problems, for others' issues. If they feel bad, you feel bad. Another sign of emotional sponge is that you absorb negativity everywhere you go. So it's as if you have this strong eye for negative stuff that happens in the world. You're aware of them, you pay attention to them, and you're actually seeking them. And that makes sense for people who are emotional sponge because they're used to feel negativity. So their brain is in constant search of finding negativities. And if they feel good, they might feel uncomfortable, they might feel guilty, and they again search for something to feel bad. Another sign of an emotional sponge is that you are not comfortable being around people. Because you care too much, because you feel too much, you're just tired. You want to avoid social situations altogether so that you can be at ease. You've been feeling too much of their emotions, you've been taking so much responsibility, and now you just need to kind of be at your own comfort. Another signs of an emotional sponge is that they have physical symptoms of stress. They could have stomach aches, headaches, nausea, diarrhea, and if they have this stress for a longer time, they might even have more serious illnesses. Another sign of being an emotional sponge is having so much emotional ups and downs. Many things are happening around us, to people, to the world, and many of them are negative. So even if you feel good to begin with, when you see news or when you see other people, if you want to absorb their negativity, it's going to be really fast that you're going to feel bad. And then again, if someone is happy, you're going to feel better. Another sign of emotional sponge is that you feel bad when you want to say no to people. Let's say your friend asked you for a favor, you want to say no, but you're concerned with how, they, how they're going to feel, and you say yes without really wanting to do that. That actually causes some ruptures and distance in relationships and really doesn't help the friendship in long term. If you have any of these signs, make sure you do something with it. Make sure you identify them and work on them, maybe in therapy, maybe with meditation, maybe with journaling. You don't have to tolerate feeling these negativities all the time. If you like the video, please like it and share it with others.